Aloha and mabuhay. My name is Emmy Ortega Anderson, your host for Pinoy Power Hawaii. Every Tuesday live at 12 noon, we come to your home to bring you empowerment. In line with our mission, we aim to enrich, enlighten, educate, entertain, and we hope to empower. Today, we have a very lovely ambassador of hula and aloha. And she doesn't need any further introduction because uh, she's got a whole book of uh, merits, awards, accomplishments, service, full of aloha. And I'd like to introduce to you Ivalani uh, Seyu Waltz. She has another name, but we call her the Queen of Aloha. Welcome to Pinoy Power uh, Think Tech Hawaii. Oh, sis, marami, marami salamat. <laughs> oh, it's such an honor to be here, you know. I mean, it's been many years that we've had the opportunity to share. Mm -hmm. And thank you for your service of all the years that you have participated because we're both Filipina, right? Pinay power. Oh, I saw. So. Yeah. <laughs> Galing mo naman. Galing yes, mm -hmm. salamat. Oh. So, uh, sis, when people look at you, you just radiant that you're... Uh, joy, happiness, is someone that you should have been a poster, uh, forever poster for Hawaii. Well, I, I was in 19 Quakos, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, 19 Quakos. Uh, you know, I'm 69, and when I was in my 20s, I had mm -hmm. the opportunity to travel, and yes, I was on posters mm -hmm. and different things. And, and you know, over the years, they still asked me to participate mm -hmm. in the culture and promoting Ula and mm -hmm. Aloha and, and Hawaii throughout the world. That's, you were born to do that. That's your official calling. Well, I believe that in, it's with upbringing as well. Mm -hmm. You know, so, we, we do what we have to do with our children. And mm -hmm. I am from a family of seven. I'm the fifth girl. And it's all about sharing and supporting each other. And when you inbred with those values, you have your faith. I always like to say, you know, I was raised with the F words. Tell us. The F words. <laughs> the F words is faith, uh -huh. family first, mm -hmm. or is it faith first and family and friends, uh -huh. being fabulous, mm -hmm. and focusing a foundation, being fearless, mm -hmm. and knowing about your forefathers, mm -hmm. and being proud you are Filipina, and the Pinoy power. <laughs> I love your F words. <laughs> That's why we can't get enough of you. Ah, oh, thank you. When people are around you, you, you just uh, radiate that, that beauty that glows uh, from inside and out. Well, thank God for Long's Drugs, for the, you know, the makeup and <laughs> all the bling bling. <laughs> so, but uh, but take us back, sis. Uh, when uh, you were little, uh, this uh, wonderful aura must have come from somewhere. What's the first thing that come out of your mouth? Parents. Your Absolutely. Parents. Okay, tell um, us about your parents. My mother is a Filipina. Okay, she's born, Visayan, right? You know, actually, we're, I think we're all. We're all. Because mm -hmm. those days, well, actually, my, my papa, my Lolo, was mm -hmm. from Isabella Icache. So that, when I did the research, um, it was Ilocano based, basically, but they oh. spoke Tagalog. My, my Lola uh -huh. was from Manila. Okay. And then when we did the research, I mean, it's just... You know, it migrated, and, and, and so with my little Filipino that I can speak, mm -hmm. it's been like chop suey. You know, I can say a little bit konti mm -hmm. you know, for Tagalog, or, you know, saya, you know, sayang mm -hmm. for me, just konti mm -hmm. And then, you know, a little bit of everything, but I believe that's enriching because, you know, here in Hawaii, I was born and raised in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. my, my father, the ancestry, mm -hmm. is um, British-Irish. And my grandparents are originally from Australia. Wow. So my grandmother's side is Filipina. Mm -hmm. So I'm Filipina-European. That's where the beauty comes. And in. so we have, you know, strong protocol mm -hmm. in the European mannerism, mm -hmm. as well as very strong protocol mannerism in the Filipino side, mm -hmm. which my mm -hmm. mother was extremely uh, adamant mm -hmm. about having those values. We needed to know our Filipino respect mm -hmm. and honor, dignity, and also on our European side. Mm -hmm. So I really say, and they were very, very strong Christians, so I really believe that we as people go back to our roots, mm -hmm. and that's what makes you 
that person you become because it's about holding on to family legacy and values. I love it. Uh, I like your F words. <laughs> Filipina and the foundation. The foundation. Focus mm -hmm. on our foundation. Yes. Yes. And about our forefathers is really important. That's true too. So don't let our culture get diluted along mm -hmm. the way. Don't let it be ripped and raped away from mm -hmm. us mm -hmm. because it is so important. Mm -hmm. You know, like I judged just a few days ago. Thank you for being of, there. Yes, as one of the judges. And I <laughs> yes. was so blessed and mesmerized because of the beauty. And I looked around us, and there were only people our age. And I, and I feel, where's the youngins? Mm -hmm. They need to see this. That's why they, I brought my daughter along. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> she won, didn't she? She won. Oh <laughs> and I didn't know. I had no idea. No idea, sis. No idea. But again, I, I judged fairly. And you know, she, she just uh, bubbled with so much uh, love and personality and was having fun. She it, had fun and she was real. It's yes. the F word, fun. And, and yeah, fun. Uh -huh. That's another one. Yeah. She was fun, fearless, mm -hmm. and just focused and, and just wanted to represent her family. Exactly. And, and you know, she's yeah. having a time of her life. And she I was. had no idea. That was, that was her first time. Gorgeous. Yeah. Man, so. if I was that tall and that skinny, I would want to do that. Just like your beautiful uh, daughter. Thank you. Uh, princess and queen. Ariana. Ariana, we just yes. opened up in China as far as uh, the culture of Hawaii. And mm -hmm. so she is considered, again, as far as the legacy is concerned, the queen of aloha there in yes. all of Asia. But like I said, you know, in 1939, my mother was the first Filipina queen. Mm -hmm. And at that time, it was called the Hawaii Commonwealth because mm -hmm. we weren't in a state till what, 1959. 59, correct. And so... Yes. You know, having these values and having the beauty, not only because of the crown, because mm -hmm. my mother always say, anybody can have a crown on their head. It's the crown that rests on your heart. It's so important. That is important. And that's the reason why that, you know, I express to all of you out there mm -hmm. is that, you know, beauty does come from, in, you know, pulse eyelashes, lipstick, everything mm -hmm, else mm -hmm. can be bought. Yes. But the heart. That's on the surface. Amen. Mm -hmm. You know, so if everything is on, within the heart and the soul mm -hmm. and what we want to represent of our family mm -hmm. and our legacy and our lineage is so important. Mm -hmm. So what's inside is what really counts. Is I agree with you because many people, there's so many beautiful uh, people that yes. looks good on the outside, but when you tear away the covering, you look deeper into the soul. Oh, yes. Uh, wala na. Wala na. Nothing. Talaga empty. Uh, empty. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so. And then when they open their mouth, I'm going, Ugh. <laughs> but sis, you are a blast and so real and uh, so down to earth. Uh, but yet, it's uh, like a goddess. Oh, yeah. Woo. Uh, so, tell, tell me before we go on a break about the your garden, ah. the garden of the goddess. Thank you for asking. Yes, you know, I was blessed mm -hmm. by uh, receiving this property from my parents, and it was totally abused. And Sanford and Son had nothing over me with all the junk that was there, mm -hmm. so it was 500 loads of junk that I wow. took out um, to the dump. Mm -hmm. And just digging, plowing, and planting, and just praying. I said, oh, dear Lord, you know, I want this for my family. Mm -hmm. I want to leave a legacy. I want to reach out and embrace um, other women in the community mm -hmm. because you know Filipinos are one of the highest with breast cancer cancer in general because of the diet and and eating too much lichon and all the you know greasy stuff and you know we were all um, raised with that but mm -hmm. now we have to be more mindful yes. about our diet and, and our health and so I started you know digging away plowing planting brain like I said earlier mm -hmm. and 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 just say dear lord help me help me you know just Give me this vision and this passion to, mm -hmm. to clear it up. And now today, it is, I, I think so, mm -hmm. it's a beautiful garden. And I've been getting a lot of accolades and recognition for that. And embracing other women to come mm -hmm. and pray. Because it's inevitable, sis, we're going to pass. We can choose how we want to pass. That's right. And the knowledge we want to give our children and our significant others of who we are, what mm -hmm. we represent, and what's the value that we want our families to continue to have after we pass, you know. It's and the legacy and totally. tradition. Yes, yes, tradition is mm -hmm. important. We need to out there, you know, because I'm proud to be Filipina. And wherever I go, mm -hmm. you always think, because I'm born and raised here, sis, mm -hmm. they think I'm Hawaiian. And when I said, 
I'm, I'm from Hawaii, yes, but my ethnic cultural heritage, I'm Filipina, European. And mm -hmm. they go, no, you're not. Right? <laughs> oh, yes. And I'm very proud, you know. I'm very proud. And I just let it known right out there. You know, I don't Thank hesitate. You. I don't hesitate. I ran we from Miss Filipina. love you for that. <laughs> I ran from Miss Filipina. Yeah. Hawaii. Tell, Tell us about that. that. <laughs> you know, I, it was uh, 35 women. 35 was, women? Yes, those days was, you know, from all the islands they oh, came. Uh -huh. And it was in 1968. I was just right out of high school. Mm -hmm. And my mom says, I want you to enter. And it was marvelous because of the fact that, you know, we interacted with the culture mm -hmm. and, and, and everybody that was involved. And, and it was wonderful. Uh, uh, Jake Manegdek was, I mean, all the elders. Yes. And, you know, yes. it was very, in fact, when he sees me, he goes, I remember you. And I said, mm -hmm. thank you. And I was one of the first pute, you know, when I walked in and needed to see my birth certificate. <laughs> right. If you're and, real. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. If I was really, mm -hmm. a, you know, Filipina. It was one of the most um, fabulous experience. Mm -hmm. That's another F word. A fabulous, fantastic experience I've ever had because it was my connection to my roots. Uh -huh. um, I didn't win, but I was out of 35, I was uh, second, second, third, first runner up, you know, something like that. But well, thank you for bringing that up. I mean, um, it, at, at times, most times it's not all about winning. No, yeah. no, you it's, know. It's the experience that you take home with you. Absolutely. Uh, and uh, you know, all that growth. All, all, I really believe that if you really only go for the crown, mm -hmm. you know, even I tell my You're children. You're missing the whole point. Totally. And I tell the women that I, you know, as a life coach, mm -hmm. I said, if you want the crown, right. more than anything, you forget about why you're doing this as far as uh, exactly self in, in, in growth, you know, uh, mm -hmm. being uh, just wanting to improve yourself mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. meet people in the community and network. I said, then I'll go out and buy you one crown and, and put it on your head and call you Miss Kalamunga. You want me to? <laughs> Miss Papaya or Miss Banana <laughs> or, you know, whatever, because it's, it's not about that. And if and when you do get the crown, if you're blessed with that, mm -hmm. how are you going to carry it to the best of your ability to right. represent the organization? Mm -hmm. So I really believe, and I do, because I judge so many pageantries, mm -hmm. I, encourage, I encourage pageantries for young women because it's a stepping stone for meeting wonderful women in your age group mm -hmm. as well as in the community and the people that promotes it. However... Going for the right reason, not only for the kill or for the crown, because then you lose who you are. Mm -hmm. Sis, I'm a queen every day of my life. <laughs> <laughs> That's I probably miss Kalamunga. <laughs> you know what I mean, Miss Madonna. But um, it's, it's all about what you perceive in life mm -hmm. and have joy. You know, I do. I have joy. I was hit twice with cancer, stage three. And I wasn't going to allow myself to, mm -hmm. to fall apart. I said, Lord, you know, this is... Not a better place than to be with you, but I'm selfish. Please allow me to be on earth so I can see girls, my daughter's graduations and weddings mm -hmm. and grandchildren and everything. Then, you know, and let my work be completed here. Continue. And continue. Yes. And then take me. Take me. But uh, joy. Have mm -hmm. joy. And, and that's what I do. I just have joy. Fun in my life. That's what I see in you. Joy in the work of the Lord. Amen. And uh, Thank you. being uh, God faithful. God's servant, thank you, uh, which is all necessary and important in my book vocabulary uh, to have it all in a complete package. And yeah. you do have that. Sis. Oh, thank you. <laughs> with that, we will continue our conversation with the beautiful, fabulous, and uh, she's just full <laughs> of uh, beauty inside and out. Uh, the wonderful and uh, queen of aloha and. Uh, uh, the ambassador of Hula and Aloha, Ivalani, uh, Ivalani Seo Waltz. She's Thank got you. many names, but <laughs> she is the queen. And we will be right back. Thank you. Aloha. This is Winston Welch. I am your host of Out and About, where every other week, Mondays at 3, we explore a variety of topics in our city, state, nation, and world and uh, events, organizations, the people that fuel them. It's a really interesting show. We welcome you to tune in and we welcome your suggestions for shows. Um, you got a lot of them out there and we have an awesome uh, studio here where we can get your ideas out as well. So I look forward to you tuning in every other week where we've got some great guests and great topics. You're gonna learn a lot. You're gonna come away inspired like I do. So I'll see you every other week here at three o'clock on Monday afternoon. Aloha.
Aloha, I'm Yukari Kunisue, the host of Konnichiwa Hawaii, Japanese talk show on ThinkTech Hawaii. Konnichiwa Hawaii is all Japanese broadcast show and is streamed live on ThinkTech at 2 p.m. every other Monday. Thank you so much for watching our show. We look forward to seeing you then. I'm Yukari Kunisue. Mahalo. Welcome back to Pinoy Power Hawaii, and I am your host, Emmy Ortega Anderson, uh, proud Pinay. And today we have uh, the pleasure of uh, getting to know, for those of you that don't already know, our ambassador, our queen of hula, and aloha. She's also a wonderful life coach. And, uh, you know, she's so natural that uh, anything that she does, she pick up or whatever it is that she's doing, she just becomes the queen of all queens, Queen Ivalani. Welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> the queen of all kings. Yeah, yes. Yeah, well, um, my Kababayans out there, if anything else, I am the queen of Kalamungai, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Bring it back to yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it, it's all about health and wellness, mm -hmm. and that is one of the most powerful plants. Health is well. Amen. Mm -hmm. You know, the you know, most powerful plants. To have. So, do you have kalamungai growing? Oh, in totally. Your farm? Oh, yes. Yeah? Because yes. I have it. Yes. I put it in sabao and then uh, I will start. Salad, uh, everything. Drying it. And tea. Uh huh. Yes. Yes. Awesome, sis. So, uh, I know that uh, you've had your own health struggle. Yes. And uh, with the, the C word. Yes, yes. Uh, those are the things that we don't want to hear when we go to our medical checkup. Yes. You have the big C. Yes. So how do we cope and how to handle it? Well, you know, the first time that I had cancer, mm -hmm. I was pregnant with Ariana. Oh. That's 35, 6, 30 and a half. 35 and a that half. That long ago? Seems yes, like only the, yesterday. Well, wait, that was the first time. Mm -hmm. And Yes, only because of right. Mm -hmm. And so they said, you know, you need to abort her. Wow. Or you, you die, she die. You know, you both may die because you're engulfed in cancer. And I said, oh. No, I can't do this. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, my mother's a very strong Christian. Mm -hmm. We need to pray. I was not as strong then. Mm -hmm. And she said, you, you need to surrender. Surrender with all your heart and soul. And I said, okay. I was in the peak of my career. Yes. And in the peak of my, my dance school was number one mm -hmm. in our area. And, and I just, felt, and honestly, I fell to my knees. And I said, Lord, you have a plan. You have a plan for me. Mm -hmm. And if you need to take me, take me, save my baby. I mean, I was just going through this whole turmoil. Right. Well, the rest is history. I'm here. <laughs> yes. And then right after that, I had 100% um, uh, of the hysterectomy. So... But that you was, gave birth to I gave Ariana. Birth. Yes, yes, uh -huh. yes. I gave birth to Ariana. Mm -hmm. She came in early. And, you know, we had to induce labor, mm -hmm. and she came out, and she was in, in the incubator for a while, for a couple of weeks, and, and like I said, the rest is history. She's mm -hmm. been nothing but a charm, and, and I'm she so, so grateful. Beautiful. I'm so yeah. grateful that, you know, we're, the dear Lord saved both mm -hmm. of us. Then I was hit again, because cervical cancer, breast cancer works together. Then I was hit again, mm -hmm. years later, with, with breast cancer, mm -hmm. and it was devastating. Again, both time was stage three. Now, stage four, you, you're nearly terminal, you know. Right. And again, I said, okay, prayers. And, and I said, okay, now I have, to, I have to change my whole diet, my mm -hmm. whole thinking, my everything. And so they went in and they said, okay, we, we don't know if we're going to have to take two breaths or work on one, whatever it mm -hmm. was. Well, it, it worked out that they were able to save most of my breasts mm -hmm. and, but take out the cancer. So that's when I decided to educate, educate, educate mm -hmm. the women of Hawaii. Mm -hmm of what we need to do to take care of our bodies, you know, to get on a proper diet, the exercise, mm -hmm. laugh a lot, you know, attitude and gra of great um, gratitude mm -hmm. and, and have faith and just totally change your thinking and lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Like I said, Filipinos are very high in that. And then too, our mannerism, unfortunately, mm -hmm. and, and in the days of old, it was fortunate because the women are so dignified and so proudful and so respectful that, they won't touch their susu in the bar, mm -hmm. you know, because mm -hmm. if you touch your susu, something's wrong with you. Ah, <laughs> something wrong. Yeah. But yes. now, mm -hmm. you know, I encourage a younger generation is to, when you shower, you know, touch yourself. If there's any kind of lump mm -hmm. or anything, 
you know, know that something's going on right, and, and right. get it checked ASAP. Don't yes. wait until it mass justified and it's so huge mm -hmm. that, you know, it's uh, um, assumed and, uh, you know, take your body. Right, uh, right. So I believe that we need to continue to promote and educate mm -hmm. um, to, to, to tell the truth about what you need to know because they don't want to talk about it. You know, in our, yeah. in our, in our, in our culture mannerism, our, we, they don't, they're afraid to talk about. Yes. And so I host little gatherings in my garden mm -hmm. when someone calls me and crying and says, you know, you don't know who I am, but I heard about you and mm -hmm. may I come and talk to you in your garden? I said, yeah. And they would, you know, they would come and tell me, you mm -hmm. know, how their thoughts are and everything. And I would say, okay, now you bring me your asawa. You bring me your husband. Right. Now I got to talk to him too. Yes, yes. And I would say, you remember what those days when, you know, you felt so sore in love and you had touchy feely and, you mm -hmm. know, you know. I said, keep that yes. up. Know her body is what, you know, so if you feel a lump, any part of her body, mm -hmm. acknowledge it and get it checked out. And that's what I say to all of you, you know. In Hawaiian, we would say malama ke kino, take care of your body. How would we say that in Filipino? Well, uh, they say, uh, it is salon art. Yes. Yeah, so, take care of your health. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Amen. And, and, and this is our temple, in Diba. Mm -hmm. So you have to know what's going on in your temple. Like I said, I'm so sorry, but I'm greedy and I'm selfish. And I, and I want long mm -hmm. life. I want to be with family, friends. And, and I, and I want to live a, a joyful, mm -hmm. loving, rich life. Yes. Uh, not so much materialistic, but rich with, with love and, and mm -hmm. education and, and reaching out to people. That's my richness. You know, you take everything off. I'm the same person. You right. know, like you and I, we'll throw on our rubber boots and up in the mountain and in That's our garden. That's what we do. You're right, no, no makeup, no nothing. <laughs> <laughs> That's and, what I do, and, so I yeah. feel a connection. Absolutely. Yeah. So you know, mm -hmm. I mean, we, we, we have two, two sides of our, ourselves. You know, we can dress up, go out, and, and be the queen of whatever we want to be. Mm -hmm. But then we become real and go back down to, to the aina, mm -hmm. you know, and plant, pray, and for the purpose of our people. That's right. And that is so important for Filled me. Filled with faith. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Amen. The F word. Yeah, the F word. The yeah. <laughs> it sounds like a negative yeah, thing. No, but, but that's what uh -huh. we have to turn it. Yeah. Like everything mm -hmm. we do, mm -hmm. I, and, and I say that when, when I do my, my, my lectures in mm -hmm. school mm -hmm. to the young uh, students, when I say the F word, ooh, they're perking up like, ooh, yeah. the auntie's right on. Oh, <laughs> you know, and then I come out yeah. with the faith and the focus and our yes. foundation for our future. Yes. That is true. You know, oh. everything I've watched you, I follow you, and everything is about education and, and talking about our future, mm -hmm. our future goals, and what we want. Because we, at our age, we've done that, been there. We need now to reach out to. It's our turn yes, to share. Yes, to turn around and share with mm -hmm. others, especially the young ones, yeah. because they're so consumed with uh, everything else in life. It's, it's another F word, sis. Uh, pay it forward. Pay it forward. So uh, that's what I've been trying to do. Paid yeah, for mm -hmm. that's another and, one. And, and not only pay back, but why not pay it forward? Amen. For, that's uh, right. All the blessings that you will receive. Yes. Yeah. And mm -hmm. when we know that it's our time for the pearly gates, but we have contributed, mm -hmm. you know, so we need as people of our culture, mm -hmm. the Pinoy power, yes, possess that power and move mm -hmm. forward and go, eh, this is what I'm going to do mm -hmm. and make it happen. You and I, you know, we don't let. Dirt under our feet. The only time dirt is when we're No time for that. No more. No but more. Um, I want to touch up on another important aspect of the F word, uh, sis. Uh, part of my existence is to, uh, uh, to choose fairly uh, friends yes. that oh, will surround you. Yes, yes. Because that is very, very important. Uh, I decided in my life that uh, I had to uh, uh, choose the ones I wanted to be with. Yes. Uh, those that will contribute to my... Uh, to the positivity of my day as yes. well as my life. Yes. Um, I decided to choose my friends uh, wisely. Yes, yes. Because uh, it's important to be we surrounded have to. We have with to. Uh, that same mentality, same level. Yes. And to not get uh, caught up with just, uh, you know, the outer, just the yes, surface I, beauty. We have, I know, you know, thousands. I mean, I know your wealth of your knowledge and your exposure in the media. You have thousands of followers and people. But, you know, I believe, too, with my health and wellness and mm -hmm. issues that I've gone through and, and even, um, you know, I don't like to acknowledge it, but, hey, you know, through a divorce, mm -hmm. it, was, it was devastating for me, mm -hmm. devastating mm -hmm. to feel 
Like I wasn't a woman that could keep a husband, you know, mm. that he had to go find somebody else. And mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, I thought I was the queen. Well, obviously I'm not. <laughs> That's but reality. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but that's, yeah, it's embracing okay. reality too. I had, I had to learn forgiveness. Mm -hmm. That's another, another F word. Another F word. Yes. I fell on my knees. I said, Lord, uh -huh. you know, you, they always say, you know, people are in your life mm -hmm. for a reason and a season. And like we said earlier, just let them go if they're mm -hmm. not there because the dear Lord don't want us there. But, you know, I had three wonderful children because of that. Mm -hmm. But getting back to, you know, what we talked about, yes, we... I have, if I have five fabulous friends mm -hmm. on my fingers, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, that we learn, we look, we love, mm -hmm. we listen, mm -hmm. we live, we live, mm -hmm. we live. That empowers us. Yes. It, you know, we pick our friends well. I, I know that I had to. I pulled back over the years mm -hmm. because I was in the garden and praying and saying, oh, dear Lord, you know, I know you have a mission for me. Help mm -hmm. me, help me, help me. And now my life has changed immensely, yes. immensely. You know, I was stripped. I mean, you know, I was robbed. I mean, last year at gunpoint, and it was devastating. But again, I know the Lord was, um, was with me because they didn't hurt me. They just wanted to steal and rob and find where other robbers, you know, when they rob the people, they beat them up and everything. But um, To a I, point where it gets, it's fatal. It's fatal, so, yes, yes. That's another know. awakening and a uh, second I, chance, just like it the was, cancer. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I've been given so many chances, and mm -hmm. I just say, thank you, thank you, thank you. And if I can uh, be uh, a person, you know, in Hawaiian, I don't know if it yes. helps The minute we have remaining, sis, please. Right. Uh -huh. Plant that ano, plant that seed in every individual that you have, seed in Filipino, so that this way we can blossom, we can bloom from within, and be the most uh, wonderful people of our culture. Marami, marami salama. Yes, and uh, wow. I wish we had more time, uh, Sister Ivalani. Thank it's you. It's always a pleasure to be with you, whether uh, it's uh, admiring you on the stage, uh, doing <laughs> your passion, what yeah. you're most passionate about, which Thank is the you. hula, yes. and conveying yes. your emotions and your feeling through just the beautiful uh, and movement and from the heart. Thank you. The, the, uh, many differences in uh, dancers, but you, you go out there and dance it with your all. And Thank that's you. what uh, the ambassador of Aloha uh, is all about. You wear your emotions on your sleeve, which is always Thank joy you. and happiness. Thank you. Uh, coupled with faith. Thank uh, you, yes. I want to wish you uh, more joy, more faith, more uh, <laughs> life. Uh, more of God's uh, blessings thank you. with your uh, future endeavors. And I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful that you invited me. And thank you, my Kababayans out there, for listening and watching. And God bless each and every one of you. Live your life to the fullest. Thank you again for this opportunity. And uh, that's a great advice from our sister, Eva Lani. Uh, we encourage you to continue doing what you're passionate about. Live each day to the fullest. Amen. That's a and good F word. <laughs> <laughs> Salamat po and mabuhay. Mabuhay. Hoo -hoo.